This is Dan Dix here reporting for Press for Truth with breaking news. Scientists now want to create spare human bodies that they call bodyoids. But don't worry, they insist that it's not going to involve consciousness. Ethically sourced spare human bodies could revolutionize medicine. Human bodyoids could reduce animal testing, could improve drug development, and alleviate organ shortages. These spare bodies will solve all these medical challenges, these scientists say. And the scientists who want to grow these spare human bodies swear that it won't involve consciousness. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about what it means to have a conscience and also where our conscience comes from which may explain why this is a very bad idea. But first, check out these German soccer fans who just recently summoned the devil in a pre-game ritual. They light all five points of a pentagram to summon Lucifer with two banners that say, Hearken, O night, Lucifer, and rise from the abyss, take our souls. Draw us to the light, the world, the kingdoms, rise from the flames, and appear.
it's no big deal, right? It's just fun and games, right? Speaking of fun games, now check out this eight-year-old clip of some Japanese developers presenting their AI technology to a famous Japanese filmmaker. And just listen closely to his response about the technology that they were developing way back then. <laughs> これ踊ってるように見えますけど、で、これはあの早く移動するっていうのが学習させるやつなんですね。これあの頭を使って移動してるんですけど、その際の通覚とかないし、頭が大事とかっていう大事がないっていう。だからもう頭をもう普通の足
is absolutely objectively wrong. And guess what, guys? Moral absolutes point to the existence of a god. To remove the human conscience from the human is the equivalent to removing God the creator from the equation. Why? Because without a god, our minds are just complex matter and energy. And so if it's all just matter and energy, then who defines what's right and wrong? If there is no God, it's obviously the individual who defines what is good. If all of reality is just matter and energy, then there is no consciousness. All you have is biochemical reactions in the brain. If my biochemical reaction in the brain says that murdering someone is good, well, then it is because it's all relative. If there is no God, there is no mind prior to the human mind to define what is good. If the Nazis think that slaughtering innocent Jews is good, well, then it is, because it's all relative. If white South African slave owners think that apartheid is good, well, then it is, because it's all relative. But good luck living that out in real life, guys, because here's the thing. Our conscience tells us that when innocent children are slaughtered, that's absolutely wrong. Our conscience tells us that when a woman is raped, that is absolutely, objectively wrong. It's not relatively wrong based on my biochemical reactions in the brain. No, it's absolutely wrong. Well, the only way that there can be moral absolutes is if there is a mind prior to the human mind to define these values of justice and creates that value. Because if there is no God to create that value, then obviously you create it, I create it, society creates it, and it's all relative. But if a whole society says that raping a woman is good, you're not gonna sit there and just say, well, that's true for them. No, absolutely not. This is why having a God-given conscience is important. If you remove that from the human, you're left with nothing more than a programmable robot who's driven by biochemical reactions in the brain. And there is no right and wrong. It's just all relative. The article we were reading goes on to ask the question, is this an ethical nightmare or the way forward? Understandably, simply the concept of bodyoids alone has raised profound ethical dilemmas. While the supposed lack of consciousness answers the opponent's main points, which are concerns about sentience and the exploitation of living organisms, the idea of creating human-like bodies purely for medical use is controversial at its core. People who believe in the existence of a soul would argue that a body that is alive will most definitely be a body with a soul. How could humanity justify the use of such bodies quite literally for parts? The potential downsides of bodyoid technology are therefore significant and cannot be ignored. Beyond the immediate ethical concerns, the long-term implications could be huge too. Another troubling aspect could also be that the creation and maintenance of bodyoids would require substantial resources, potentially making existing inequalities in healthcare access even deeper. There's also the risk of normalizing treating human biological material as a commodity, leading to a slippery slope where the lines between research, therapy, and the free market become dangerously blurred. Furthermore, the sheer psychological aspect of living in a world where human-like entities are being grown for spare parts raises profound questions about our understanding and appreciation of life itself. So let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comment section below. Do you think morality is subjective or is it objective? And where do you think our conscience comes from? And if you appreciate my efforts to bring you this information, please don't forget to check me out at pressfortruth.ca slash donate. You can click that top link in the description below of whatever video platform you happen to be watching this on today. And that's all for today, my friends. I want to thank you so much for watching. Please click the thumbs up button, share this video, and stay tuned. We're going to have more video reports coming soon, God willing. This is Dan Dix reporting for Press for Truth. We all want truth. truth. The truth will set you free. free, free.